Alright, hey, what's going on? It's Miley here, and welcome back to episode 6, maybe, maybe 6, maybe 7, I think it's 6, it's 6, I just did 5, yeah, it's 6, I'm pretty sure it's 6, if it's not 6, I'm sorry, don't be, I don't give a fuck, but you care, um, what do we got in our inventory, what's this, this is the fancy spikes that we made, right, yes, these are the fancy spikes that we made, okay, alright, Resilient plating, okay. This is what we're doing. Find cash for the setup, uh, secure the portal in Birch Village. So, pretty much everybody just wants us to go head up further north. As far as I can tell, there seems to be no more quests around here. We found that awesome dude who does this awesome crafty crafty bullshit, which is great. Maybe I didn't get him last time. Maybe I got the blacksmith. Maybe that's why this is also like fantastically amazing. That might, that might make, that would probably make a lot of sense, actually, now that I think about it. That's probably what happened. I probably got the other guy, and he just sucked butt. I was like, oh, God, he sucks. He didn't do anything for me, man. I should be, like, really wanting to play some Grim Dawn. Why is my ability gone? Oh, is it gone because I... Is it gone because I... Oh, shit, let me just... Let me just beat the shit out of these dudes first, then we'll... And then we'll figure out if we've actually re-equipped uh, a thing that uses the strike. Piercing aura. Ooh. That's a uh, cadence. That's what I use there, huh? I guess we can equip piercing aura. Actually, this should be... Alright, this should be... No, piercing aura. This should be best because then I just do five six yeah there we go sweet nailed it I'm the best we all know this it's you know it's a proven fact realistically all right where are we going what's up there I didn't realize there was a I guess it's like an outpost for these dudes what are they called snake claws scavengers just lay all of you it's fine I've got like probably one of my hardest exams tomorrow um, it's like my I'd say it's like it's one of my hardest mass exams in terms of just like the actual difficulty of the the stuff you have to do um, although the thing I think it like can, I kind of have going for it is that a lot of the questions they they follow a very strict pattern and it's it's pretty reliable as to what it's going to ask you I think more so than a lot of the other exams like it's you can almost guarantee you're going to get these questions um, obviously they're harder but because they're more predictable you can you know, prepare for them better and, and hopefully that will pay off like the fact that I have prepared for them um, let's just hope well enough hope this this playing this video game doesn't ruin my grades man nah it's fine you get over it don't worry about it it's fine exams have gone pretty well so far I'm like get, coming towards the end of uh, exam time which is nice like I'm looking forward to my summer of YouTube stuff that was fucking sweet yeah hopefully like I'll just be I, sh I should be really focusing on uh, on YouTube this summer like Spending a lot of time uh, working to just create better content. Like I thought, I, I've, I've been occasionally like jotting down ideas that I've come up with for sort of series and, and things that I want to start and run. Uh, and I'm really excited with all the stuff that I've been planning. Like um, all the stuff that's planned, it's it should be really fun if I get around to doing it the way that I want to do it. Um, like the idea is that I will have the time to like uh, learn. Uh, more skills in terms of video editing and uh, other things like that more time to actually just record content in the way that I need to record um, oh, I know where we are I know where these fields are as well I have actually oh we're actually really close to uh, getting up to sort of the more populated areas here because I, I definitely remember this place um, that poison's actually not that bad when I think about it damn what was that red shit that was badass hell yeah Okay, we killed everybody, everything is beautiful and good, now we're just moving on. I really like not having the uh, find common on, I find that so useful man. Like, I want to go explore up uh, on the northern side, not the northern side, but the uh, the other side of this road. Um, what's that entrance there? That looks interesting, ooh. Caves. Probably a spider cave, huh? Just gonna throw it out there as a guess. It's gonna be a spider cave. Get out of here, widows. Fucking to god, I hate spiders, man. Just make me cringe just feel unsafe and nasty just hate spiders man hate them so goddamn much 
Alright, I haven't explored this cave. Nice, the burial cave. Oh god, they're burying dead bodies in here. Okay, yep, so it turns out bury dead bodies, they come back. That's how games work. Oh shit, yo. I actually played um, a wizard's... a lizard's... a wizard's lizard today. Jesus names. Um, yeah, I actually uh, I got the chance to uh, to play that today. Like I um I was sent it by the developer kindly enough. Um, I was good. I, I sort of sat down to do a first impressions of it, but I had seen uh, earlier gameplay of it, and I was like, shit, man, this game looks fucking sweet. It's kind of like a Binding of Isaac style game. Um, uh, and I, I jumped into it and recorded uh, episode one of a let's play, and goddamn, was that fun. That was that was some fun stuff right there. Like I was I was I was like ten out of ten enjoying that game. It is. It was a bunch of fun. I really liked it. 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 I've played a lot of games since playing Isaac that kind of had an Isaac feel to them. Like I played a lot of games. Like, oh, this is kind of cool. It's like a got kind of like an Isaacy vibe. These are the Flesh Warp guys, right? Yes, sweet Flesh Warp mutants. That's nice because they contribute to quests. There's a crap ton of enemies here. Holy shit! All right, it's time to give them the old kite around. All right, that didn't work. Um. Nice, I killed him. Yeah, so I, I played that and it was it was a bunch of fun. These guys are actually pretty high level, some of them, which is kind of scary. Um, it was it was really fun. Like um, a lot of games where they have the Isaac kind of vibe, they do feel like a little bit not great or a little bit like ripoffs of it. And I played a few, and I've just been like, ah, oh, these aren't fun. I'm not enjoying this. Um, this crystal is hella levels, dude. Sweet. All right, slayed it. I like how a lot like. A lot of the enemies die, but not all of the enemies die when you kill a crystal. I think that's a really cool feature. Um, yeah, but I, I, I got into the game. Like I was playing it, I was like, "Shit, this is just this is just straight up awesome." Like I just want to play more of this game, man. I just want to play all of the video games on this. I just keep playing it, and so I just sort of like, "This is gonna be good, man." I think it's gonna be a, I think it's gonna be one of those indie games where I actually keep a long running series. Like um, I kind of. I never know what to do when it comes to series lengths for indie games. Like something like Nuclear Throne, I've got like 20 odd episodes on it, and it's because every now and again I feel like playing it, recording an episode. I don't, but I don't have this drive with Nuclear Throne where it's like I just play it, one player so much. I like the game, I play it quite often. When I do play it, I really thoroughly enjoy it. I think it's a freaking great game, but it's not like it doesn't have that Isaac vibe. Like when I started playing Isaac, it was like a fucking, it just consumed me. Like it literally just consumed me. Um, I would just play it so much, like all the time. I just play all of the video game, man. All of the video game. If I actually explored this whole area, pretty much, kind of sucks. I guess I have to kill this shard. That's one more thing I have to do. Get out of here, Crystal. Nobody likes you. Um, sweet. Okay. Wait, hang on. Am I picking up uh, shards or crystals? I'm picking up crystals. Okay. I was gonna say because I was, I was thinking I might be picking up like the the bigger ones from these bigger crystals. That'd be kind of cool if it did that. Um, but I'm not. I wonder if that's something I'll add in later on. I can imagine it being something because it's like adds progression to the way that you find this particular resource. Um, oh, nice another one. Yeah, so like I feel like a wizard's lizard might be a long-running indie series because, um, well, because I just I just got into it a lot more than I have done uh, with a lot of underrated games that I've been playing recently. Like when I did the FTL series, it was only ten episodes long because, well, I only had ten episodes of fun really with the new FTL upgrades. Like I played a good amount of it before and I, I enjoyed recording these episodes but that was you know that was it and I was done after that and it was good um and I enjoyed it for that this is decent but not great I don't think this is ooh it's kind of sexy it's kind of s nice it's kind of good it's kind of good I, I kind of like that um do I have an upgrade to put into it I do not have an upgrade to put into it Hmm, I guess we'll hang on to it for now. I haven't actually found any spectacular weapons so far, which kind of sucks. I'd like to, I don't know, I'd like to pick one up off a boss and like find a really sick weapon. That'd be awesome. Desperately need one. Maybe we could look to get one in the shop, but they only really sell yellow weapons in the shops. Did find that crossbow though, but that was only for uh, range units, and we are definitely not a range unit. I leveled up and haven't uh, done it. I got frozen! No, this is bad. Oh god, get out of here, lightning dude. Um, so yeah, the point of that long story that's lasted over a little while now because I keep going back into things within this game uh, is the a wizard lizard the lizard's wizard a wizard's lizard's wizard lizard's wizard this is a good game and I like it uh, I guess I just should put some points into some stuff really like whatever floats 
Sh fuck it. She puts points in some stuff. Yeah. All right, that was cool. Enjoyed that. There we go. Where are we on the map? We're exploring this area. I guess we go loop around and head up this bit here. This bit looks cool. Yeah, it's good. The music in the background right now is like... It's pretty sweet. I like it. Keeps it doing this thing. But it had like a couple of battlefield rumbles. So it was like... Boom, and I was like, oh shit. Oh shit. Um, so yeah, Wizards Lizard series that will hopefully stick around for quite a while. Um... The game actually does feature like some progression, uh, but it's not progression. I don't think it's so much progression in the sense that Rogue, Le Rogue Legacy kind of offers it. Um, this is really cool, but I think it's more leaning towards kind of. Uh, I can't actually get in there to loot anything inside. I don't think there is anything inside. Um, it's like you kind of get extra money at the start to purchase upgrades earlier, which is kind of cool because it means that you can like still jump into the game uh, as though it was. You can like you can go into the game as though you hadn't uh, received those upgrades, which is nice because it like it sort of lets you set the difficulty after a certain amount of time. Like whether you want to try and beat the whole game using upgrades, or whether you want to try and beat the whole game using just what you would have started with. And that's I think that's really interesting. It's something that um, will really like pay off a lot better when you, uh, a lot more when you get into much much later stages of the game. I think that'll be really interesting. I guess that's something I should be talking about when I play that game. Because um, it's actually not a point that I brought up, but I think it's a point that's really uh, valid for that game. Like, definitely something that's super useful to think about. Ugh, my nose is so itchy, man. It's so difficult to record when you have itchy noses. Um, I guess we should really like check out this area because I want to explore like everywhere. Because we all know that exploring everywhere is the best way to do things. I'm surprised I didn't get any potions from that pot of well potions. You know, <laughs> give me this vital essence. I want this. Yes. Actually, like, having a pretty good fight with these guys is quite nice, though. So. It's nice when you run into an enemy pack and it's actually, like, a... It's kind of a close fight. You're actually having to, like, move around quickly. It's not so relaxed. You have to pay attention to the combat because you're, um... Well, you're, you're dying right now. I'm actually dying right now. It's fine. I think that piercing aura just increases my pierce damage, which does stack really nicely with, like, all of my Nightblade abilities. I just got a shitload of stuff in that. Holy shit. I just got wrecked, dude. It's when these, like, bugs and stuff shoot the poison from the sides and you get, like, stacks of poison on you. It really sucks. Alright, got all the weapons. All the weapons. All of the weapons. Scrap is nice. Allows us to open more things later on. That's going to be useful. It's going to be really useful. Uh, where am I? Okay, where's this cave go? Have I discovered this yet? Smuggler's Basin. Whoa, that sounds cool. A presence far more powerful than you dogs in this place. This, I found this on my last playthrough, but it was in a different location, so it does um, show that things are... And this guy was had a different name, I think, and he also was four levels higher. Um, so I guess I can show this off. This is, like, a really cool thing, which is obviously slightly... I, I, I suppose this does show off that, that some of the uh, bits in this game are, like, slightly randomly generated. But this guy is, well, seven levels higher than me. The other one didn't uh, have dash. Actually, no, I think he did have dash. Because I, I tried to take him on at one point and then realized that... Um, uh, I realized that, yeah, that he had dash. And so it was actually impossible for me to just kite him like this. Um, but he hits, like, he, 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 he too hits me. So we're not going to gonna battle him because it would mean me dying Uh so that is something that I was like, I was like, I've been sort of waiting uh, in this area. I've been like waiting to get here so that I could show off that because I thought that was the coolest thing ever. Like when I discovered that in the game, and I was like, oh, shit, I can't beat this guy. I guess I'll, I'll try and go back. And I went back to him later on when I was level 21 and I still couldn't quite beat him. And it was like, holy shit, this guy's amazing. Um, I think a lot of it was because my build was very focused around air weave. Whereas I think this build does a lot of single target actually much better than um, my last build dud did. Dud. It's not a, not a word. Yeah, so uh, that's awesome. I really like that guy. I think he's a fucking fantastic feature in this game. And it was one of those things I was just like, wow, that is genuinely just awesome. Like, there's this giant dude. I'm not going to be able to take him on. Later on, I'm going to come back, slay him in his own lair. And I'm going to feel like a total badass for doing it. I, I just, I'm looking forward to that moment in this playthrough as well. <laughs> I actually think I'm a higher level than I was when I came through here last time. I feel like I'm, uh, maybe not. Maybe I'm exaggerating it. 
Maybe I was this level, just didn't feel like it. It's funny, like how the um, the the skill upgrades are starting to feel very passive. Like uh, that last upgrade slot I did, I just made my ranged weapons do a little bit more damage and the slightly better, you know, attack, which is based off a proccing chance. It's like it's very, becoming very passive, which is kind of pooey because it's you know nice to have super impactful uh, abilities. But at the same time, it's nice the way it's leveling up. And I like that it gives you the option to... How, how, I like how the options work for, like, how you can put different skill points in. There's nothing, not even anything good in here. Oh, my God. Wow. I just got a green item off a random zombie drop. I guess... I guess this was totally worth it, huh? These guys just keep coming, huh? Jesus. Getting all the levels, though. Damn. Got so much XP there. Musty Tome of Attack. That's for uh, priests. Not priests, but spell dudes. Yes, that's really good, huh? I don't really want it, but... I don't think that makes any difference, but I like it that way. Oh man, I've got two... Starting to get, like some other weapons so if I can get like some upgrades I think it could be better to take those honestly I should to finish some uh, some more of these things before and then I'll be able to equip those other weapons hopefully actually if we find this apprentice at some point um, we won't even have to craft new ones which would be probably the, the ideal uh, turn of events well, I don't know how likely that is get rid of that range guy before he causes too much trouble okay we should get rid of this range guy I was going to ignore him but I guess that's not going to be the case. There's actually just a million of them throwing lightning at me, which kind of scares me. Because I feel like if I get frozen here, frozen here, then I'll die. And I really don't want to die, obviously, because I haven't died yet. And that's like, well, something I'd like to keep uh, keep, keep true to. Like the whole not being dead thing. Like as much as I'm not playing on hardcore, I really want to stay like I am playing on hardcore. Because I think that's so much more fun. I think like, I've always liked playing these games on hardcore. Um, I think for a walkthrough series like this, I, you know, I definitely just do It's not good logistically, um, unless that was the gimmick of it, but this is like my first playthrough and stuff, so it's like there's, I don't think there's any merit to doing that. Um, but just playing games on hardcore, I fucking love it. I really find it so like so much fun. Like a game like this, where it's really, um, there is like quite a large amount of skill in like the, or not a large amount of skill, but it's like, it's difficult. You like, it's like, oh shit, if you, if, if you, if you can't die, you have to be really careful and like think about how you're actually attacking the situation. You can't just run in, you know, fucking hair blazing, trying to kill every enemy like as fast as you can. Shit, you gotta like build um, so that you don't just die all the time. It's good, man. I like it. I think it's fucking exciting. Yeah. They're not good for a uh, not good for a first playthrough. We are trying to actually just show off the game. Sweet, alright, slay these dudes. Come down here. Bash open some boxes, yo. Didn't get anything good from any of the boxes, yo. That kind of sucks. All my buddies are playing the Dota of the Twos. Kind of want to play some Dota of the Twos, but I'm not because I'm on my break still. It will be nice, actually. It's going to be fucking exciting when I finish my exams. It is literally a week today. I will be finished. Um, I'll be singing to the skies. I'll be probably be getting really quite drunk. Uh, and then the day after that, we'll be, you know, playing some dirt too. <laughs> Maybe I'll do the both at the same time. Who knows, man? Shit might just get crazy in here. Hell yeah. Yeah. And other such things. It's going to be fun, though. I'm going to have a good summer. It's going to be a fucking exciting summer. Like, this summer does excite me. I think about the nice free amount of time I've got. I'm also shitting myself nervous about like how this exam season has gone. I've uh, put a lot of work in this year uh, and I'm hoping that it's paid off well. I seem to have discovered a small camp, which is kind of awesome. What's this? Is this the cliff to that? Yeah, I thought so. This leads on up there to the, to the mud row, which we discovered up here. Well, actually, we discovered up here, so it covers around there. Okay, I see what's going on here. All right. I remember this camp, I remember discovering them from last time, it's just, yeah, this is the wrong guy. Uh, well, I'll be a living person. I've been stranded out here since Burridge fell. Fought to have myself on this little patch of island, cooking what never critters get too close whilst waiting for the inevitable end. You're a welcome sight for sore eyes. Burridge well fell months ago, how have you survived this long? Well, I can cook for one. I used to work in the capital. I had the honour of preparing meals for a 
a couple noble houses and many foreign dignitaries. I'm not a fighter, but I've learned to hunt a bit when necessary. He gets me by. Scraps of bone... Uh, sc scraps of bone... Bone rat? Oh, bone rat are the spiky rats. I was like, bone? Bone rat aren't exactly fine dining, though. Most of all, I just keep quiet and observe. What about you? Where do you hail from? This prison of yours sounds like a heaven compared to my current dwelling. I bet I can do my share as well. My men fight better on full stomachs. Uh, how will we get all my equipment into Devil's Crossing? I can open a rift gate. A portal. I've only, only seen one of those before. I wasn't, wasn't spitting out with the good guys. I really hope you're not trying to pull one on me. It goes nothing. Right, sweet. So now there is a cook in Devil's Crossing. Uh, we're going to go back and see him. Why not, man? Um... I've still got that, like, kind of underlying feeling that, like, maybe Devil's Crossing is a bad place. Maybe all these people are going to die and they would have been better off not being sent back here. What if that's the case? Oh, Jesus, please no, you know. So here's the cook. He's got himself a nice little corner here. Well, if it isn't my savior, I cannot thank you enough. I finally get to cook for some other people again. Here, have some soup. Could use some salt, but Captain Whiskey over there insists it's for combat use only. Glad you yourself with me. Devil's Crossing reputation and XP. Come back any time. I've got a few stories I'd like to stay over here. Let's hear one of your stories. When I was young, I had the misfortune to witness uh, a banquet that was thrown for the five pathfinders of the biggest row of bands of the time. It was supposed to be a peace offering, but none of them left alive. The governor thought that the rovers would disband once their leaders were dead, but they just chose new ones and moved on. I regret how they were prosecuted in the past, but it seems generations spent roaming around the wilderness and back of roads in these lands whilst evading agents of the Empire prepared them, uh, well, for the Grim Dawn. They seem to be weathering it better than most and have taken in many refugees from the Empire that once hunted them. Some more soup. Huh. Uh. One thing still bothers me about the ways the events have followed about the Grim Dawn. I was working in the capital during the weeks prior to the attack. I remembered two of the three legions were dispatched to remote provinces for seemingly no reason. It seemed very uh, peculiar at the time that they would leave the capital so exposed. Then again, I was, I'm just a simple cook. Uh, who am I to question the works of the military? It's... Did I tell this one already? I once had to deal with a particularly rude dignitary from the capital who uh, even slighted... What? Oh, slighted the emperor. Uh, the man made a huge fuss about <laughs> his food being bland, so I whipped him up a little of the chef's fill with my stronger spices. Let's say he just ran out of them and is spilling from both ends. <laughs> Oddly enough, I, ha I heard he died the next day. I hope it didn't have any of the spice I used. <laughs> oh, damn. How much you know of the former warden? Rumours of uh, Krieg strained and violent behaviour even reached my ears in the distance capital. When he failed to respond to multiple summons, an agent was dispatched from the capital too resolve the situation. Unfortunately, the Grim Dawn was unleashed before that man could reach Krieg. At least I assume that must be what happened. Prior to the Grim Dawn, I served uh, a meal to some gentlemen in the capital who were deep in conversation about a remarkable method uh, of travelling around using arcane gateways. They said it would allow the Emperor's armies stationed in the capital to appear almost instantaneously in the furthest provinces. Imagine what lengths the Emperor's general staff would go to produce such a Decisive uh, military advantage. Reading is hard. <laughs> you know, hearing myself say it, it sounds very similar to that portal you used to rescue me from the swamp. Uh, I served a follower of Trig. He has so many fucking stories. I served a follower of Trig once. Now, I don't normally judge a man based on his beliefs, but those people and some twisted stuff. The all seeing eye, the hidden realm which God supposedly reside in. How Drig is the watcher that guards the way. No wonder they're so uptight if you think someone is staring at them at that time. It's funny though, apparently someone was watching him after all. Not long after we parted ways, an inquisitor took him in for questioning and he was never seen again. At least, that's what I heard. Those guys count the effectiveness of piercing weapons. They may not have the raw damage and dealing power of heavy mace or a brutal axe, but their ability to penetrate armor can be very effective against the more heavily armored foes. At least, that's what I've heard. And you know, my impression of me very familiar with blades. Being a cook, I mean. Have you run into one of the Bloodsworn yet? The fanatical cult? Yes, I have, actually. Uh, devoted to the supposed Elder God... What's that say? Cthon. It's almost like Cthulhu. Uh, the cult has existed forever. Some say it's since before recorded history. 
I always thought the myth of an elder god betrayed and gruesomely dismembered was too fantastical to be anything but the stuff of theatre. But since the grim dawn, it seems the cult has newfound power and desperate men flock to swell their ranks. When I was wandering in the outskirts of Burwich, I came upon some cultists who pressed me to join their ranks. At first they wouldn't take no for an answer, but I treated them to some hearty stew and then they troubled me no further. Never <laughs> underestimate the power of good cooking. Okay. I like him. He's cool. He seems like a genuine, decent dude. Alright, let's see if you've got any shit for me. Um, three enchanted accents, huh? Adept bladed mace. Wow. Not a 7% skill energy cost, plus random stats. It's average speed, but, well, it could be really useful. Flint core bolts. Using guns or crossbows. Using melee weapons. Ooh. Ooh. Let's make two of these, eh? What's up? Why isn't it doing it? Oh. Okay, so now I've got two enchanted flint, which is... Seems pretty sweet, actually. Um, huh. Okay. Alright. Guess that's all we've got so far, yeah. Aether shards, huh? Why not? Why don't I make some Aether shards? But why isn't that stacking? That was so weird. Alright, I got three Aether Shards. I guess they do things, maybe. Hopefully useful things. Can't make any of these because I use the uh, Searing Embers. But I think I'm more interested in having this than I am in having those. Um? Blueprints. That's how it is. Okay, I was going to say, how do I find new weapons? I guess it's blueprints. So that's, I must have found the blueprint for an Adept Bladed Mace. Um, do these increase my offensive ability much? Damage per second. They reduce it slightly. But not by much. I guess I'll hang on to them for now. Just because there's no, like... Uh, there's nothing to be gained by getting rid of them just yet. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll hold on to them for now. Why not, huh? <laughs> Why not? Polished emerald, eh? What does this give me? It's eight to all. Oh, wow, let's, let's, have a, let's have a bit of that. that sounds, sounds real good. Okay. Let's get back up to what we were doing. Team some more areas. 28 minutes. Ah, I've already recorded some more. We made a long episode. Why not, man? Saved a it, dude. It's pretty exciting. I guess we'll just finish off this kind of area before we have to head into the fields. I'll try and dance around the outskirts of these fields here. Barretu Atteskerteris. I genuinely don't remember these goblin guys from last time. I can't remember if I can't like um, remember if they were there or not at all. Like it's either that they were there and I don't remember them uh, because it's kind of like you know how you don't you remember the start and the end. Like I remember what I was fighting at the end. I remember what I was fighting towards the beginning, uh, but I don't remember those bits. Um, it's either that, or it's that they are actually a new addition of enemy um, added into the middle ground. Well, I'm not sure if that's... I don't know, I can't... I, can't, I would assume that they would have been, because like, I wouldn't think that, like, halfway through your development cycle, you would... Um, I also, I like that this uh, 
uh, secret dude that up here, is up here isn't like uh, marked out as a as an entrance. I thought I thought that was really cool. I like that. I thought it was pretty badass. Um, I also like that you can like the map kind of deviates up here. Yeah, I would have thought that yeah, like when you um, release an area into early access or like into a game that is in early access, you would have that area pretty much completed for enemies. Like, I don't know, maybe not. I guess. Actually, yeah, no, I guess not. I guess it's. I guess this kind of makes sense. It's, maybe this guy has something sweet on him. No food rations. That's not useful. There is definitely hunger here. It's definitely a factor. Hunger is definitely a thing, right? Like, I'm so confused, dude. I'm so confused. Alright, let's go kill some stuff in some fields. I think this map's actually changed slightly, because it definitely... The, uh, the fields definitely didn't look just like this last time. They were ever so slightly different when I visited them before I remember. I'm pretty sure. I don't know, man. Like... I don't know. My memory is, like, not what it needs to be right now. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, is anything good in here? Anything useful? Some barrels. Yeah. Okay, jackal. Literally jack shit. Guess they burnt the dead. That's a good idea. Burning dead, 10 out of 10. Actually 10 out of 10 for burning dead. Always burn the dead, man. This Game of Thrones has taught you anything. Always burn the dead. Also, you know, Jon Snow is the best. Oh yeah, I do. I remember these guys. These guys are awesome. Like fucking flying demon things. Look at them giant weird flying demons. They remind me of the uh, the dragons, kind of, uh, from Dota. The ancients, you know? The dragon ancients? No, just me? Okay. Oh. Yes, just me then. God, I fucking hate those swarms so much, dude. So shitty. Stupid bugs, get out of here. Nobody likes you. God. Fuck bugs, man. What's this? Oh, I ate dinner? That's cool. Alright, I ate dinner. I wonder if there's a setting where, like, you can, uh... Why has it got that? There's a little brown dot there. Maybe it means that that respawns. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool. Do you reckon that's what it is? Oh, no. Oh, shit. There's a box here. Okay. Didn't even think about that. Um, I wonder what this is here. Untouched metal. What, these swords? This thing? I'm standing right on it, right here. It must be this. It's weird, I wonder if that's for a quest later on or something that we'll have to go back and find. I'd imagine so. Silk Swatch. I thought it said Silk Watch, and I was like, a Silk Watch? I got really confused right there. Uh, but apparently I'm just stupid. Um, no, nothing. The thing is with this new crafting system is I kind of just want to save up for the, like, the most awesome uh, upgrades. Oh god, it's fucking spiders everywhere, dude. I hate spiders. Get out of here. Nobody likes you. Go home. It's when they, like, they, like, oh, they, like, kick their asses out and stick you. Oh god, there's, like, Weird demon things. Fuck, Jesus. Okay. Weird demon stuff everywhere, dude. I didn't even have my piercing aura on. Definitely need that on. Roiling blood. That's good. It actually might be close to a... Might be close to a, um, a full set of roiling blood here. No, we're one off. Less so than I thought. Yeah, we're in the fields now. Okay, sweet. All right, let's actually just get back in here because we need to need to fully explore the fields, man. Actually, I can't. So, I guess not. I guess let's just go explore what's out here, dude. Oh god, this is bad. This is actually real bad. These guys are like tanky as fuck. Taking like quite a lot to get through. Chipped claw, sweet. I actually have this feeling that I finished chipped claws now. Sweet. That's how we got slam. Okay. Um, that's definitely hunger. I guess the amount of food you get, the quicker you regen, or etc., etc. Or if you run out of hunger, you just don't regen at all. I would imagine that's a really cool system. I like that. The I like the health regen system, but I thought it was a bit overpowered. Now I think that's really perfectly balanced. I want to save this for an upgrade. 
Oh, arguably we can put it into a sword and do more damage. Hmm. Hmm. I like this better. More dimge. I like dimge. Let's get north. Backing north. Yeah, there we go. I don't want to explore too much more here. I kind of want to find the next rift gate though, because we've travelled quite a long way. So I guess I'm going to like yellow up here a bit, because I know there's a rift gate here. We'll just play off the fact that I played this game before, so I know what to look for. And there it is, Barrish Village. Oh, the rift gate is swarming with enemies. Fuck. I was kind of hoping 30 FPS, Jesus Christ. I was kind of hoping that um, the game would like let me off. Um, it's weird, it's one of those games that seems to kind of run in slow motion when it's at 30 FPS, which is kind of weird, like, um, I think it was Terraria, I remember, did it, like, um, when you would record at 30 FPS, it would actually slow the game down to half speed, which is a really weird thing, I never quite figured out why that, no, I remember what it was, like, what the explanation was for why it happens, I touched my face, which is, like, really not a good thing when playing games, um, I can't quite remember what it was, um, this is a pain in the ass, dude, I have to, like, kill all these dudes before we can, uh, leave, so... Yeah, this is time to beat some asses. Like, they're all, like, decently high-leveled, and I just wasn't... I should have had a little bit more grind before this. It's just not good. Can I leave now? No, the Rift Gate is still swarming with enemies. Holy shit, literally the worst. Oh, that's because this is a quest. Fuck, I forgot that discovering this village was a quest. Shit. That's really not good, dude. At least we're killing lots of flesh warps. That's really useful. Getting those quests done, yo. Holy shit, they just beat my ass, yo. Oh my god, yo. I got my ass whooped. Jesus Christ. Motherfucker. This guy's level 19. Crimson Bane. Oh, it's the boss. Okay, sick. Nice. I was wondering why I was taking so much fucking damage. It's like, there's no way this is just like... Alright, buddy. Listen, buddy. I don't like you. You're like me. Now you're dead. So fuck you. Elixir of spirit. Elixir of spirit. Ooh. Solid club of very slow. <coughs> Decent boots of not too bad, but not great. What was that thing I picked up? There was something I picked up that was like a little thing. Corpse dust. That's... Okay. Whatever. It's not as good as I was expecting. What a shit boss drop. Fucking useless boss, man. Not even dropping good loot. There's so much stuff to explore around here. This area takes like uh, a long way to get through like the whole thing because there's just so much cool shit to explore. It's really fun. I like it. Such a nice journey. Like, I, felt, I, felt, I, I don't know. I really like the way this game is paced and laid out. I've fucking thoroughly enjoyed it so far. Let's just sell all this shit. I'm going to get better versions of it anyway. It's whatever. It's really whatever. Have you found the Rift Gate in Burwich? What's the situation out there? Swarming with ethereal corruption, but the Rift Gate is secure. Nice XP. <clears throat> Good work. While you were gone, I dug out some of these files in the office. I think we have our target. As you're acutely aware, ethereals can possess humans uh, and bend them to their will. I always had my suspicions, but now I have little doubts. The former warden of this prison is possessed, well, before the Grim Dawn, in fact. How can you be sure? I guess that would explain why it's bad. I guess it's not too bad to bring people back here, then. This is like where it's like, oh, don't worry. If you brought people here, they're not actually just going to get murdered horribly. Uh, there have been countless holes in the prison records. Prisons just are disappearing and never to be seen again. The warden... Uh, the warden's personal logs paint more of a complete picture. He's been transferring prisoners into a secret facility underneath his mansion in Burwich Village for years. What for, I do not know, but I'm sure it wasn't for rehabilitation. There are also several mentions of ethereals and rift gates. I need you to find this man, or whatever he's become. Where can I find him? Warden Craig owned a mansion in the northeast district of Burwich Village, so up here. <laughs> I'm afraid I don't have more to go on, but if we want to strike back the ethereal power structure in the region, the warden is our prime target. I will fuck him up. And believe me, I have, and it is fun. 
Uh, and the next bit of the game is actually really exciting. So anyway, thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you're enjoying Grim Dawn so far. I'm really enjoying it. I think it's badass. I can think it's real good, man. I think it's really exciting. I think I'm going to see if I can open this thing out. Six scrap and 3,009. I don't have six scrap and 3,009. It's good. It's not that bad because I wouldn't actually be able to go up there anyway, but you know. Just for the, uh, just for the sake of it. Well, should we look at this thing? It tells us where to go. Old Grove, Devil's Crossing, Homestead. I can a bit of foothills. There isn't an option to open this bridge yet, which I... Oh, shit. What? What? Uh... Um... Video games. This is definitely not in here in the last patch. It's kind of interesting how this works. I mean, it's like, like, this game looks a lot better than I give it credit for, you know. This game actually looks a lot better than I give it credit for. It's just the style that I'm, I, I'm never particularly, a, never a big fan of a uh, grungy style. Um, kind of sucks that we can't get through here. I guess we'll clear this at some point. I imagine that's to do with quests later on. Um, we sort of get to explore this area down here. Uh, but I haven't been able to do that yet, which is really cool. I'm just so excited to like see what this full game has to offer. I have no idea. Like I guess um, we're able to like travel all the way up to here in Alpha. I've I would presume you're able to travel up to here in Alpha because it's question marked, or maybe that's what's planned. Because I know that you can go up to here, so I imagine this whole section is fine. I don't know about this yet um, or this. But anyway, thanks for watching this episode. Hopefully you enjoyed. Next uh, next episode should be really fun, actually, man. Um, should be getting really good. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.